Hey folks, this is Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're here with Dean Arnoldson, and he is going to take us through the next Skeeter boat. Dean, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself, and uh, then we'll go on a tour. Alrighty, well I'm Dean Arnoldson, I work part-time for Skeeter Boats, and I fish the NWT Walleye Trail, and I'm looking forward to a little bit of spring action when the tournaments start, and finally get to get in this WX 2200 this year. It just came out with it uh, beginning of last year or kind of towards the end of last year and I got to take it for a ride and at the Northern Dealer meeting and now I got my own and I'm looking forward to fishing in tournaments this year with it. All right, so here we go. I'll go on a tour. Thanks, Dean. All righty. One of the biggest things with this boat is it's a total redesign. So we took the 2190, redesigned the hull, redesigned the interior of this boat. One of the biggest things, if you want to look underneath here, is the running surface. So what we did is we take the dead rise all the way to the back of this boat. And what, did, what that does is it gives this boat a much better ride and a lot drier ride. Another big thing with Skeeter boats is we make our own trailers in house. So we have the ability to make the trailers. We can change anything on the fly. Um, they're all welded by our company. We make all our own trailers. We have tandem axle trailers on all of, uh, the bigger boats, actually on the 2200. It's tandem axle trailer. We got brakes on all four wheels on the trailer. We have our own boarding ladder. So that's a big thing. Um, when I first got in with the Skeeters, I looked at this boarding ladder and I thought to myself, man, what is that gaudy looking thing? But I'll tell you what, this boarding ladder is one of the coolest things about Skeeter boats. On our trailers, we have disc brakes on all four wheels. We have the nice lighted Skeeter sign. Cool thing is with the Skeeters, is we have a flat transom. We have the ability to put trim tabs on. One of the biggest questions we get with the trim tabs is, is why would you put trim tabs on a boat that rides so good? Well, a big thing with trim tabs is, is for weight in a boat, and everybody knows what I'm talking about, so if your boat has the weight perfectly distributed, the boat will ride awesome. When you get a third guy or somebody that weighs a little heavier than I do, the boat wants to ride a different way. So what the tabs allow me to do is um, tab down or tab up and I can straighten the boat out so I get a great ride. So that's why a person puts trim tabs on a boat. Alright, here's what we use the big Skeeter stairs for. So when you guys are going to launch these boats and we have a steep landing, Skeeter came up and designed their own slider bracket. So what this allows us to do when we go with the power drive motors, you want to keep that motor inside the boat more so when it drops down on the trailer you don't blow the motor up so that's one of the big things with the slider bracket you just slide it back now you keep your motor away from the front of the trailers big thing is we did too is we can flush mount up to a helix 12 in here this is all machined aluminum so that's one of the cool things um, we stayed away from plastic so we wanted to go with something a little bit more rigid um, if you were to put a Minn Kota Ultrex on this boat, you also can have the recessed foot. So you can, that's just an option. So they'll pull this piece of carpeting out, put the recessed foot thing in there, and the way you go. One of the biggest things that I like about a boat, and I've always been asked, is storage. I always want just a ton of storage. So that's what they did with this boat. They went above and beyond with the storage. So this boat, this the storage area actually goes all the way to the front it's carpeted you can put whatever you want in there just tons of stuff in there you can also put up to an eight foot rod in there also if you needed more rod storage which i doubt you do have the bait well in front of the driver's console the bait well is also insulated so you can use it as a cooler as well as a bait well we have another dry storage on this side as you can see just tons of storage area and as you're looking at this you might ask what is the deal with this aluminum so what we did was we did an aluminum deck plate so what this allowed us to do number one is it's more rigid so anytime you have fiberglass where you're trying to mold the lips of these containers and all your storage 
that gives you stress points. So what we did was try to eliminate the stress points and go with this rigid aluminum deck. So we screwed this to the front deck and that just makes it a lot more rigid and a lot more solid. We did for the rod storage, there's just a ton of rod storage in there. And we went with the super tubes as you can see up there. You can put just a ton of rods in here. Um, I would suggest putting rod socks on them just so you keep your eyes from getting stuck together and whatnot. But we, you can see you can just put a ton of rods in there. The step actually acts as a cooler also. There's a cooler inside there. All fully insulated to keep your ice all day. And as you look around you'll see a lot of tool holders. So we have tool holders throughout this whole boat. We have a stereo system. Stereo has four speakers and also Bluetooth. Um, again, you can see very rigid door openings. And this is a real live glove box because you've got just a ton of space in here. As you can see, you could probably crawl in there and take a nap if you wanted to. Get over here, we got some storage behind. So you can put whatever you can in here. What I also did with mine is I took the, the shelf out Put a couple rubber straps across here and i put my offshore planer boards in there works pretty awesome i'm from wisconsin i use a lot of offshore planer boards you go back here um, you'll notice the jump seats are gone so we took the jump seats out of this boat and went with tons of storage so you can put up to 16 3700s in here and you'll also notice we have the aluminum deck back here we got rid of the jump seats, but we did do this accessory. So this is a cushion that slides in here and then it'll snap onto the live wall lid. And then you got the back. This can all, it's all removable and you can stick it up in your storage. So it's a pretty cool add on. A lot of people have, you know, six people in their family and they want to take six people out for a joy ride. You got an extra spot back here. You got the two chairs back here also. Over here, you got another rod storage rack. You can get probably up to six trolling rods in here if you had to, or some other rods. You can actually go both ways with the reels. You can stick your rod ends up there, or you can put the reels here and stick them backwards too. So you got a lot of space in this. Under here is the enormous live well. Every tournament angler needs a big live well. Um, when I first had this boat, I was wondering if the live well was big enough. I won a tournament and had 40 pounds in this live well, and I never lost a fish. So, pretty awesome. And that kind of takes you through this boat. I'm very excited about this Skeeter WX2200. I cannot wait to get it out on the water. All right. Well, hey, thanks, a big thanks to Dean here for taking us through this beautiful boat. Uh, Dean, thank you so much for taking your time out. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Great a meeting you. Fisherman, you have my envy right there. All right. Uh, so thank you for, for taking your time with us today. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate you going through the boat with me. It's always something. We had a, had a lot to do with this boat, and I'm very proud of it, and I can't wait to get it on the water. Awesome. Maybe we'll get an update sometime in the future. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks.